morning, guys and gals. Backwires and Backroads here. Obviously, at some point when you start an adventure and you start a series, you just have to turn the phone on. You never know when it's going to be, you know? Like, I'm always like, oh, I'll just start later. I'll do it later. And I'm like, well, today's the day. I'm starting the adventure today. We're going to the Apostle Islands. And I'm launching from my friend's house here in in uh, Washburn, which is one of these little towns, Bayfield. It's on the Shinobaguan Bay. <laughs> and I decided not to do the big water crossing because that would take a whole day. Though they are fun sometimes, but I just, since I only have about the week, I wanted to maximize my time here. So I just drove over to my buddy's house, stayed the night. Now I'm uh, going over a few things on the sea dory here. How about if I turn the phone around, I'll show you what I'm doing to prep. Okay, nothing really big deal here, guys. But, uh, you know, check the oil in the in the main here. It, it looks good. I hardly use this boat. I think it's only the third time I've used the sea dory. <laughs> so it doesn't get used much, you know. <clears throat> but the, the 2.3 that I have is a kicker here. It was giving me some trouble when I was using it out in Sleeping Bay a little while ago, you know, a few weeks ago. And I think why is because I let it sit all winter with some gas in it and I, the oil needed to be changed and such. So I'm just kind of going through it, cleaning the spark plug, changing the oil, putting fresh gas in it. You know, it's what it needs. So, uh, and let's see, what else have I done? I basically, I mean, this is a really lean and mean kind of <clears throat> almost like boat camping type of trip. I have all my bedding up in the front there. The camper top, you know, I put the canopy on. This comes out. You'll see later in the video. But, uh, yeah, I'm just some food, cooler, bedding, you know, odds and ends, um, 12 gallons of gas, which cost me 70 bucks for the, the good stuff, the non-ethanol. Man, which, but, you know, I feel lucky because there's some big old gas sippers sitting in all the marinas with those big blocks in them that are not moving this summer. So, yeah, if I can get away with Okay guys and gals, so we are off. We finally got everything together and launched out of the Washburn Marina. I have a pretty strong wind from the south, so I'm just heading north letting the wind push me. I'm gonna get out past Long Island here and we'll get in officially into the islands and I'll start, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't have a plan, but we're gonna see as many of these islands as possible. Maybe all of them, I hope so. There's a couple on the other side of the Bayfield Peninsula, Sand Island, um, that's, you know, it's a, it's an island of itself because it, it's, a, anyways, I'll show you on the map, but uh, hopefully we'll get over to that one too. So I think we got plenty of time, so stay tuned. I think I see our first lighthouse to explore. I think that's called Long Island Lighthouse. I will double check. Let's go check it out.
Well, it's got this weird dock that is looks like it's broke down. It doesn't go all the way to the shore, and it doesn't have any bumpers on it either. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for that beach right over there. Just you know, one good thing about the sea dory is it's pretty easy to beach. Let's see if we can get close to this lighthouse here. The things we do to see lighthouses. I just beached it and tied it to a piece of driftwood. I think it'll be okay, so. The thing I need to remember when I when here in the Apostles is there's a lot more kind of rules and regulations and enforcement and people that wear costumes that kind of roam around, you know, telling you you can't do things. Um, I remember, you know, I spent some time in the Apostle, you know, this is where I used to come, you know, before I moved on to Noggin when I lived, you know, down in central Minnesota for a bunch of years. And this was like my weekend getaway, you know, type place, destination, you know. And I could tell you some stories about, you know, little infractions and fines I got over the years. And it's hard to do everything right when people are gunning for you. But anyways... That's not what this is about. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is a, this is like, it's an abandoned lighthouse, more or less. And pretty close to civilization. I mean, Madeline Island is just right there. And I'll show you La Pointe is a little town. Madeline Island is the only island of the Apostles that has population other than Rocky which I know we'll come across on this trip, you know, eventually. But Rocky's got some kind of grandfathered in little fish camps that I'll show you later. But yeah, I can't believe that, you know, all the years I used to come up here, I never went through the trouble of coming over here and taking a closer look at this lighthouse. I love lighthouses so much. I'll try to find you information on everything we come across on this adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to find, you know, there's there's lighthouse buffs that know everything about all this stuff, you know, you usually find it online. But this, this building's officially abandoned. And this is the, the actual light. Kind of reminds me of the lighthouse on Manitou. find a window to peek into. Gotta see what the inside looks like. I see a lot of blueberry bushes. Good place to come in another six weeks or so. Let's see if I can show you in here. What am I, what do you see? Beds, lumber, Stairs going up. I'm guessing this lighthouse guided in ships into Shinabaguan Bay, um, like to Ashland, you know, kind of coming to the bottom of the bay there. It's like a couple of doors there that. You, there's probably a staircase, like a spiral spare staircase that goes up. Old concrete foundation. Some kind of structure once. Let's go check out this dock down here. dock on it, but you're going to get wet coming to shore.
Okay guys, well, we're coming into La Pointe here, which is the little town on Madeline Island. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find us a, a good place to anchor or dock, or maybe beach. And if so, we'll go into town and I'll show you around. I think we're just gonna pull up on that beach right over there. Okay guys, so we found some parking on Madeline Island here. So let's go walk around and I'll show you the little town. guys I would show you we would go in that museum there try to learn something about the history of Madeline Island but they don't allow dogs so you know it's just one of the drawbacks of traveling with a dog but let's let's walk around the outside here kind of got some interesting old structures I need a fence like this send a message <laughs> I was talking to a fellow back there at the coffee shop, and he said there's a public dock down here that has an L shape to it, and it's like free boat parking, and if you get on the inside of it, it'll protect you from the wind, so we're going to walk down here and see if we can find it, maybe find a place to dock tonight, and I'll just stay in Madeline tonight, and I'll show you around after dark, we'll see if Thomas Bird down Cabin Bar opens up. Always an interesting place. Well guys, I checked out that dock and it didn't, it wasn't gonna work. So I walked over here to the marina and it has this, has this estuary in back and if I could get under that bridge then I could park tonight up inside a really protected area but I don't I don't think I can fit under this bridge I'm only seeing non-cabin boats back here I could try it but if I could get back in here that'd be great spotted a nice Sea Dory 22 cruiser over here look at that for a second I've had a couple of these over the years I've got some buddies who have have them they're just so expensive worth too much. Here's another one right here. Very desirable boats that are hard to get a good deal on. Thought I saw a nimble over here. There's a Kodiak. Very similar to the Vagabond, but sailboat version. Well guys, I haven't found a good place to, to tie up tonight, but I'm gonna keep looking. There might be, I might be able to stay at that little dock for the beach club, kind of right where I pulled up on the beach there. Someone told me. They don't make a big deal of it, you know, so maybe I'll sneak in there tonight. Or maybe I'll just go up to what they call Big Bay, which is up the island a little bit, and I'll just anchor up there. I'm, the black flies are really tame here in town, and, and they're, they're bad right now. So i kind of like to stay in town if I could, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's all part of the adventure. We'll see what happens.
Okay guys, we finally figured it out. So I parked at the docks at the beach club and they're closed today. And then this nice fellow that came in on this boat, he's kind of like a water taxi and I think he had his girlfriend with him. And I just said, can I park here? Cause there is a sign right over here that says, we'll tow your boat if you park here overnight and all that. And before I could even get the question out, he's just like, yep, you can park there all summer if you wanted to, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, really? And he's like, oh yeah, people park there all the time. I'm like, thank you so much. So it's still not a great spot. The wind is coming here. I'm gonna turn the phone around and show you. I'm gonna try to give you guys like a perspective here. So I'm in La Pointe. This is where the ferry comes over from Bayfield. And the wind just happens to be coming just right at La Pointe. I mean, it's about the worst direction you'd want the wind coming in, trying to find a place to anchor. You know, let me see if I can zoom in on this. There's a there's a sailboat out there just rocking back and forth. There'd be no way, I mean, you'd be seasick trying to sleep on your boat out there. I've come here before where the wind isn't coming in from this direction. It's like, it's totally calm out there. It's a great place to anchor, but not today. And the beach club has, you know, these rare, you know, uh, docks <laughs> here on the front of the point uh, of the town. But, you know, there's signs up saying, you know, customers only and all that, which, you know, I totally understand. Here, I'll show you one of the signs, you know. And so, of course, you know, they got a business and they have, it's their docks, they have a right. But they're just so convenient. They're really, you know, I, I was parked over on the beach, as you guys saw earlier, but I didn't want to sleep there. So, Finally, it all kind of worked out. I went over to the marina and really couldn't find a good place. Couldn't get under that bridge I showed you guys earlier. So this is where we're settling tonight. I think it's gonna be fine. The water taxi guy that lives here in town said, no problem. So I think one night's fine. If we get towed in the middle of the night, then you know we'll deal with it. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna make some dinner. Uh, I'm gonna cook up a little, little mini steak that I got at the Quick Trip gas station. I already fed the beagle. Then we're gonna go to Tom's Burn Down Cabin Bar. I'm gonna show you that. It'll be really special. Nothing special tonight, just a couple tortillas and a little gas station steak. We have quick trips here in Wisconsin, Minnesota that kind of like gourmet stuff and good prices, you know, and we put some butter in there and just keep it in simple. I made myself a little drink. You're spoiled and lazy. useless no you're worthless and useless no you're useless yep that's right <laughs> 